Hey guys! So, I'm not dead. I'm fully alive. I will have an update video for you. Hopefully soon. What I am here with today is a haul slash review thing um, for the, as I'm sure you could tell from the title and the picture thing, the Max Simpsons collection. Obviously I didn't get everything from the collection because I'm not a millionaire. Uh, I did buy two of the lip glasses, a blush, and the nail decals. Kinda wish I would've gotten the other blush, but mostly just because I'm greedy and I want to have both. Because I'm a collector and a nerd like that. So the first thing that I want to show you is the nail decals. I can't review these because I haven't used them. I probably won't use them for a while because they're pretty and I don't want to not have them anymore. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, they're just, they're basically the same as the, um, packaging and the Holy Glare Batman. Uh, does that help? Does that, does that help? I don't know. Maybe. It looks like the packaging, except, um, when they show Marge, like, here. Uh, she does not have the blue hair, which I think is kind of a bummer, because that would be cool. But, you know, whatever. I still think they're cool. They have, like, all the... Pretty much all the characters, I think. Maybe even all. I don't... It's not small. It's not big enough <laughs> for me to know if all the characters are actually in this graphic. Uh, but it's cool. Uh, the price of these was $16.50. Uh, most nail decal type things like these are about $10, so that's only $6.50 more. And they're pretty cool, so I think that, if you're interested is worth it if, if it's something that you don't really care about you don't need them so next I'm going to talk about the lip glosses um, I'm wearing one of them now on my bootless lips uh, it is. I'm wearing itchy scratchy and sexy so I'm going to talk about that one first uh, as all MAC products do it came in a little box it is 4.8 milliliters or 0.16 uh, fluid ounces. And this also was 16.50. Um, I don't want to do the math to tell you how much that is per ounce because that just seems like too much work. To be honest. Um, but I really like it so I think it's worth the price. But we'll get into that in a second. So first things first, um, the packaging is cute. Also, I hit the button. I didn't mean to hit the button. Okay, so part of the reason that I got stuff from this collection, um, other than it's Simpsons and me and Sunny are really huge fans of the Simpsons, because um, I haven't tried their lip glasses or blushes yet, and I've been interested in doing so, um, but was worried about spending that kind of money on a product and then having it, you know, not work for me. So I thought, if I get something in this collection and it turns out to be something that I actually end up hating, then hey, at least I have the collector's edition packaging. As if it would be worth money someday. I don't even know if there's a resale market for these kind of things like that. <laughs> Um, although I have heard that some of the Kelly Osbourne lipsticks are going for like $50 now. Is this true? I have not researched. Um, so the packaging is, I like it. It's pretty simple. has a picture of Angry Marge on it, as opposed to on the box where she's delightfully happy. Uh, she is, Homer must have did something bad. She's not a very happy Marge. It says The Simpsons Mac on it, because duh. Um, it, that's the ratio of the cap to the bottle, if that matters, I don't even know. Uh, it has a doe foot applicator like most lip glosses. And the color is 
Um, kind of like a purple, pinky purple with blue and pink glitters in it. You can see it uh, in the back as well as Matt Groening's signature. But I don't know that the, um, the sparkles are pulling through. So I'm sorry if they're not. They have a really good swatch on the website. So um, I found that to be pretty true to life, at least from what I saw on my computer. So if you want to see what it looks like, you can go check that out. Um, this is the swatch on my skins. Um, it's purpley. It's probably a little bit faded now. Might be. Um, it's purpley. It's sparkly. Um, I think it's a flattering color for me, but I tend to like purples on myself. I think that's a flattering color for my skin tone. So if you like purples, or because um, some people don't really like purples, but they like pinky, plummy type colors. So um, if you're into those type of colors, you can probably check this out. The, lips, the lip glasses did sell out the first day, except for one, which we will get to in a minute. It's, it's sticky in the sense that all the lip glosses are going to be sticky. It's not terribly so, like it's not uncomfortable. You do kind, you are aware of it on your mouth. Sometimes when I'm wearing lipstick, um, I kind of forget that it's there because you don't really feel it so much. Um, but this, I'm pretty much aware that it's there, which is fine because it looks pretty. <laughs> um, so yeah, I definitely think as long as you don't put this on too much to the point that like you get the 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 stringies when you open your mouth. I think it would be fine. So that's the end of that story. The next one that I got is Brand of Pumpkin, and it came in the same box. The only difference is the little sticker at the end that says the name. Oh, and I do like on the inside of the packaging, it's blue like Marge's hair. So it's like yellow and blue. Look, it's Marge! Um, this color is, I think I said it's Grand Pumpkin, but if I didn't, it's Grand Pumpkin. <laughs> um... The packaging is the same as the itchy and scratchy and sexy, uh, outer-wise, obviously, because things. Um, but the inside is obviously different because it's a different color. This is a orange. Um, it's kind of probably more on the corally pinky end of orange. It's not... I mean, it's bright, but it's not obnoxious. Uh, when I tried it on earlier it pulled a kind of nude-ish color on me. Uh, but I don't I think my idea of nudes is a little bit different than everybody else's because I don't actually like actual nudes. Like I like colored nudes if that makes any kind of sense. Because, like, Up the Amp from MAC, I kind of feel like that's a purpley nude. Am I crazy? I'm probably crazy. It's fine. Um, but, yeah. Um, this has the same texture as the other one, but it does not have sparkles. It's a cream color, I think. Um, like, I can't see any sparkles. Can you see sparkles? Is there sparkles? Um, it has the same kind of applicator. When it, because <laughs> right now it looks to me very carroty, but it's not. I promise. Uh, it. I find it to be very flattering on myself. I am quite pale with a little bit of olivey tones to me. Um, from Native American roots. Yay. Um. <laughs> Uh, so, I mean, you kind of have to, if, if orange looks good on you, this will probably look good on you. If orange does not look good on you, maybe stay away. This is the swatch, my very sloppy swatch, <laughs> of Grand Pumpkin. By the way, Grand Pumpkin is a parodying, uh, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, but this, the big pumpkin, the Grand Pumpkin, 
He sees that everybody makes jack-o'-lanterns, and he's like, poor little babies, and then he gets mad and eats everybody. It's really funny. Uh, which is, it's maybe a little bit why I got this color. I buy things because names sometimes. Um, it is, like I said, it's, it's orange. Probably if you layered it with, like, a different colored lipstick or a lip pencil, um, it would change the hue of the color a little bit. So, there's that. Like, if you're just dead set on you need this one, there are ways to make it more flattering for yourself. It has the same consistency as, um, Itchy and Scratchy and Sexy. It's not terribly sticky, but it's not not sticky. So, there's that. If you're wondering and you want to look up the Green Pumpkin episode, I have just been informed by my people, um, that it is Treehouse of Horror episode, n not episode 19, but Treehouse of Horror 19, and it is in the 20th season, so there you go. Go look it up. Go find it. Watch it. So, moving on! Segway! Uh, the blush I got. <laughs> uh, it has the same packaging, basically, the box. This is an oversized blush, so um, it's like the same size as the powder. So this is my Studio Fix powder. So it's about the same size as that. Its net weight is 9.5 grams or, 30, or .33 ounces. So there's that. This was $24. Which is kind of pricey for blush, but it's a lot of blush, so... And it's collectors. Um, the packaging on this one is a little bit different, whereas the lip glasses have angry Marge. This is a uh, perturbed or slightly annoyed Marge. It sticks out a little bit, it's yellow. I don't think it would fall off if you were to drop it, but you know, maybe don't drop it. Inside, oh, and the color is different. Like, um, most of their products, I don't know if it's changed, but most of their stuff is like a satiny black with like a silvery shimmer to it. This is just shiny black. So there's that. And then you open it up. So it's got a pretty big mirror. The mirror has like a yellow border to it, which I think is kind of neat, and then Marge is pressed into the powder uh, with the same face as she has on the outside of the package. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed that she's not in there uh, this way. Sorry, I'm blinding you. Uh, because that's what I've seen in the ones that, like, online and stuff. But, you know, I'll get over it. I'll live. I do think it's pretty cool. Um... I think this color, I'm wearing it now. This is pink sparkles, if I didn't say. It's pink sparkles. Pink sprinkles. Jesus, that's the second time I've done that. Pink sprinkles, like Homer's Donuts. Um, I'm wearing it right now. Um, I think it's very flattering. You do need to build it up a little bit. Um, if you are, you know, much darker than what I am, I am NW13 in my foundation. Which is actually a little bit light for me right now because it's summer and even though I don't go outside much, my color still changes. <laughs> um, I just don't really buy I don't like to have a million foundations. Um, I think this color would be flattering on pretty much everyone though. Um, you would just need to build it up to get, you know, the, cons the amount of color that you want. Um... It's a very good blush for, I think, every day. It's a light pink. It's pulling kind of a, a blue pink on my camera right now, uh, but it's probably, like I said, a little bit more towards the mauve end of blush colors. It does have some slight sparkle to it in the pan, but once you put it on the skin, the sparkle seems to disappear, which is fine. I don't really like, care for a sparkly blushes all that terribly much. I should probably get these swatches off my hand here first real quick. Hang on. There's a little bit of a stain, I don't know if you can see, from the itchy and scratchy. So there's that, if that matters to you. I don't know. 
Um, so let me swatch this for you. Okay. This um, is slightly more built up so you can see the color a little bit more on my skin. This is probably pretty close to about what I have on my face right now. Um, this was just like two little swipes across my hand. This was a few. It's pretty easy to work with and it's pretty blendable. Um, and it's, I don't want to say it's not pigmented because I feel like it is pigmented, but it, I don't really know the word for it. It just, some blushes can be really soft and it comes off with like a lot on your brush, even if you just slightly dip it. This is not that, like, you have more control with this, I think, if that makes sense. So yeah, this was $24. There's another blush, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, and it's kind of a corally with like gold shimmer, but um, from review from blah, 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 from reviews that I've seen of that as well, the shimmer um, kind of fades um, once you put it on the skin. Um, as far as the lip glosses go, there are two other colors. Um, if I didn't mention the prices, they're sixteen fifty each. Um, the colors that I got were Grand Pumpkin and Itchy and Scratchy and Sexy. And then there is Red Blazer, and I think it's called Nacho Cheese Explosion, which is yellow. The Red Blazer is kind of a pinky red. It's actually really pretty, but I just... I didn't really care for it too much. Um, Nacho Cheese Explosion was the only one that did not sell out online the day of. Uh, and it's probably because it looks like putting nacho cheese on your lips, which is super attractive. It's something that I used to do when I was a kid at Taco Bell. Uh, fun fact about Kira! <laughs> Um, I do think it's cool that they came out with a yellow color because their skin is yellow, but maybe it would have been better suited to, like, an eyeshadow <laughs> or something. I definitely do recommend these if you're interested. Um, the blushes were still there at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure. I don't know about, like, a day later or anything. I haven't looked. Um, the eyelashes I know were sold out. The nail decals were not. Um, the eyelashes, they just, um, they look kind of like what Marge's are, but like slightly more realistic. Those were sold out day of, so if you want those, go to MAC the day that it's in stores. The na nail decals were still there, I don't know if I said. Um, the other two things were um, eyeshadow quads, and I'm pretty sure those were still there at the end of the day as well. Um, there's a, there's a green one, and I'm pretty sure the other one is blue. And I think they're $40, if that matters to you. I don't know how much lashes were, I want to say, 18 The collection will be in stores on September 4th. That will be Thursday. Uh, I will try and get it up as soon as possible so that, like, anybody who watches this can, you know, try and get to the store in time to buy the things that they want or arrange to do that things I think that's it I think we're gonna go get something to eat now uh, please hit that subscribe button I promise I'm gonna try <laughs> not to disappear again uh, I can't promise that I won't because I fail at life and I just disappearing is apparently a thing I'm good at uh, you can follow me um, on Instagram Tumblr and Twitter as just Kiradical, no X. Uh, and I believe I'm on Facebook. Uh, you can like my page. It's X Kiradical. That I don't think I've done anything with that page in a while because, like I said, it disappeared. But I'm gonna try and do stuff with it again. So that's the end of my story. I hope this video was helpful to some of you out there. Um, I really enjoy this collection, and I will hopefully see you again soon, so bye!